um, develop emotional intelligence, right? And let me tell you why. Women by nature, y'all know, it's been said a time and time and time again, and it is a protection mechanism. It is a life-giving. It is a life-sustaining. It is. It does so many things, right? The fact that women are more, typically women, not all, but typically women are more emotional than logical, right? That's what. That's what's said, and 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 sometimes, oftentimes, that is the case. So, but when you have emotional intelligence, a lot of times for women, you don't make certain poor choices because you you have the ability to step back from that thing think about it whether it be a relationship a friendship um, a career move whatever it is when you have the emotional intelligence to take your feelings outside of it and think about you know uh, uh the past present and future with regard to that situation, when you know how to ask people, you know, what their experience was in this situation um, and glean something from it, right? Because a lot of times when we're younger as women, we have a rebellious nature. We, we know everything. We're going to do this right. You know, mama didn't do it right. Auntie didn't do it right. But I'm different. I'm going to have a different outcome doing the same thing, right? Complete insanity, the definition of insanity. And a lot of the times when women leave situations or when women uh, uh, initiate divorce it's based on her feelings not logic right not having that emotional intelligence so that's my thing and so I just, I'm just leaving this to ask other sisters what would what advice would you give to younger and um, all sisters but I, I'm a black woman so I specifically speak from our perspective you know uh, that we are the narrative in that sense this is about us so what advice would you older sisters you know in your 40s and 50s and on what, what would you say to the sisters in their teens and their 20s and their early 30s who are just starting out to keep them um, to keep them from doing the things that we did that we're not so proud of you know that we did hopefully learn something from but again for me it would be to use your logic over your emotion and do not make decisions in life off of your feelings i'm telling you your feelings will make you fight for stuff you don't even want but when you step back and you look at a situation for example you may, sisters, you may be in a terrible relationship or situationship, and you may let this go on for years of your life. It may aid you, make you gain weight, make you stressed out, depressed. You can only find one or two things about this person that you actually like, but because you did not use emotional intelligence and you invested so much of your time and energy and feelings into this man, you say, you take the abuse. You, you go through all these different changes and cycles, you clearly see that the person ain't right. You clearly see what their motive is, but you think you're different. You think that you're gonna keep doing the same thing the women before you did, your mothers did, your aunts did, all those who, who gave you that poor advice, all the things that they did, and you're gonna have a different outcome with this man. No, the man is still the same. So you have to change. You have to change. Emotional intelligence is going to make you love yourself in such a way that nobody can penetrate it um, to make you not love yourself, to make you not um, establish boundaries and hold on to those boundaries. You know what I'm saying? There's no compromise, right? So again, I'm going to end this because I got clients to see, but listen, that would be my advice to younger sisters. Operate under emotional intelligence. Be accountable for your behaviors and your actions. Don't make excuses for the things that you know you need to do and don't do things that you know you shouldn't be doing because you're not using your emotional intelligence. Don't stay in situations because of your feelings. Think. Think. How is this going to benefit, benefit me five years from now? Hell, five minutes from now. How is this going to benefit me? Pay attention to the patterns of people around you. They typically don't change. Pay attention to my younger sisters. So operate under emotional intelligence. Stop letting your feelings overpower your logic. Think and be well.